The next thing that disturbs me, sometimes we hear right in the middle of samsara dava, jaya prabhupada jaya, what the hell is that? Samsara dava is not the Prabhupada song. It's the Guru song. It's the uh, song offering respect to the spiritual master, which doesn't mean the founder Acharya of his kind. It means your spiritual master, his spiritual master, all the gurus in the line, that's fine. But when Prabhupada was here, if, you, if they wanted to chant Jai Prabhupada in the middle, all right, we were all Prabhupada's disciples. Now we're not. Some of us have the privilege of being Prabhupada's disciples, and some of us have the still further privilege of, of being disciples of the disciples. Samsara Dava is not the Prabhupada song. And therefore, it even disturbs me when, you know, they finish the, the um, Jayams Tuvam Stasya Yashastri Sandham Bande Guru Sri Charanada Vindam Jaya Prabhupada Jaya Prabhu, as if again it was the Prabhupada song. If you want to think of Prabhupada during that song, that's fine. But it's not. The, what if somebody else is thinking of his guru? God forbid. Then you've spoiled his meditation you, 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 because you're thinking it's the Prabhupada song. You don't need to chant Jai Prabhupada, Jai Prabhupada at any point in that sequence. Samsara Dava, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Hare Krishna, nothing else. And, all right, I won't buck the system. After Samsara, after Samsara Dava, Srila Prabhupada's Pranam Mantras. And if you left them out, you would not be wrong. You would be institutionally wrong, but you would not be philosophically wrong. Because Prabhupada said, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Samsara Dava, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Hare Krishna, nothing else. That's what he did. And if that's what you do, you're no worse than he was. And he was perfect. So again, I'm not campaigning to edit it out of the program. But keep it at that, if you would. Or to put it another way, I would be happy if you would keep it at that. Srila Prabhupada is the Samstapaka Charja. Therefore, we have a deity of Prabhupada on the altar and in the temple room. And we offer Guru Puja every day to the Samstapaka Charya, the founder Acharya. We chant Prabhupada's name, we don't chant anybody else's name. It's not necessary. It's actually, I think, outlawed in his gone. Isn't it, Savas? And when we chant the Mangal RT, that is Prabhupada's song. The Mangal RT is not chanted to my guru, your guru, everybody's guru. We're chanting Mangal RT to the Samstapaka Charja, the founder Acharya, for the next 5,000 years. They will be everyone, if we come back, us, will be chanting Guru Puja to Prabhupada. The fear is, so many people present different ideas. We're worried that in 10 or 20 years, when all the Prabhupada disciples, Matajis and men, are passing away or are long gone, that is your responsibility to carry on the tradition of Krishna consciousness, not to change. Prabhupada said, the problem with you Americans, your disease is that you want to change things. 
you want to change everything. Prabhupada said that. Therefore, we should be very careful. So many devotees are here, Matajis and men, that were on the planet, were in the temple room with Srila Prabhupada. When we chanted the Guru Puja for Prabhupada, when we chanted the Mangalarti for Prabhupada, uh, when Prabhupada was personally present and we chanted Prabhupada, 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 Prabhupada. I was in Kishore in Chicago and we chanted Jai Kishore, Kishore, Prabhupada was there. And we chanted Kishore, Kishore. Some rascal, unscrupulous person may say, some low class, envious being may say, oh, you don't have to chant Srila Prabhupada's pranam. You do. Prabhupada's full pranam. Yesterday, someone gave class. They chanted Prabhupada's pranam. There's another mantra that goes with that. Namaste Saraswati Deve, Koravani Prajarine, Nirase Sasunyavari, Paschat Yadi Satarine. Everyone has to chant that. Is your Parma Guru, but you have to chant that. Is not a, a misfortune. You're very, we are very fortunate that you're also grand disciples and shiksha disciples of Srila Prabhupada. You have a direct connection with Prabhupada. You read his books. We don't read so many other books. There's no need to read any other books. There's no need to chant anybody else's name. Our need is to chant Prabhupada's name and read Prabhupada's books. And because we're personalists and we're not impersonalists, we chant the names of the deity. Nitai Goranga, Jai Nitai Goranga, Jai Jagannath, Jai Jagannath, Jai Baladeva, Jai Subhadra, Rukmini Dorkadish, Rukmini Dorkadish. Are you impersonalist? You don't chant the name of the deity? Everywhere throughout ISKCON, all the devotees that were here in the time of Prabhupada, so many, they were in the room with Prabhupada in the temple when we chanted those names. And even someone reminded me the other day, we were in Mayapur, 1975. Prabhupada was ringing the bell and jumping up and down, and devotees were chanting Jai Prabhupada, Prabhupada, Prabhupada. You have to chant that. You don't have to chant any other Guru Deva. Not that we disrespect any other Guru Deva, but they're not the Samstapakacharya. If someone thinks that during Mangal Artik you're chanting to me, I, I can't even imagine. If I got some disciple somewhere who was crazy enough to take initiation from me, who was insane enough to think I'm a pure devotee, and I'm sitting in the temple thinking they're chanting to me, he's chanting, she's chanting to me, that is envy. The disease why we're here. I'm envious of Srila Prabhupada. We chant Mangalarti to Srila Prabhupada. We worship Prabhupada on the altar, no one else. We have Vyasasan for Srila Prabhupada. Everyone else has something asan, has an asan. Srila Prabhupada is the only Vyasa son. There was a time when devotees were bewildered. 
And they put so many Vyasa sons. I think in some temples there were 11 or 14 Vyasa sons for every guru on the planet. Then they realized our ISKCON leaders actually Srila Prabhupada is the center. Actually, he'll be the center for a long, long time. But it's your business to keep him the center and not be bewildered. We'll be gone. I can't instruct you from creamy bojana, kumbhipaka, or sukra mukha. I think there'll be muzzles so that you can't even speak. So many torturous situations in the hells. But you'll be here carrying on the sampradaya. And you have to keep it. It's very important that we don't become bewildered or envious and think now it's our movement. No, it's the same movement that was there when Prabhupada was on the planet. Someone may say, some envious person, well, Srila Prabhupada never chanted Jai Bhakti Siddhanta in his kirtan. We are not Srila Prabhupada. I think it was here in Los Angeles. Srila Prabhupada went in the kitchen and ate a glob jamin. We can do that. Prabhupada said, don't do as I do, do as I say. Prabhupada told the devotees. But in Prabhupada's presence, everyone knows, Brigupati, Suvas, all the devotees, Banabhata, that were here. When Srila Prabhupada was here, the Matajis that were here, when Srila Prabhupada was here, they know, due to karma, what the standard was, how we chanted. We always chanted Srila Prabhupada's pranam with kirtan. We always chanted Prabhupada, Prabhupada, in Prabhupada's presence. We always chant the names of the deities. We are personal. What, do you stand in front of the deities and ignore them? Does that make any sense? I'm chanting for the deities, but I don't chant their names. That's not necessary. What's not necessary is to chant anyone else's name. We used to chant Jai Gurudev, Jai this one, that one, and the other one. The ISKCON uh, GBC outlawed it. Actually outlawed it. So our business is to keep things in that frame. Then we're no longer Jadadiya. The speculators, the impersonalists, the uh, envious persons, they are Jadadiya. Polluted into, they think, Aruya Krachena, Parampadam Tadan, Padantiado Nadrita Yusmarangraya. One may think, I'm a very advanced sannyasi, I'm a very uh, advanced spiritual personality. I can do anything I like. I can change things left and right. One may think like that, but if one's intelligence is polluted, then one is committing grave offense. Then it is envious. Then it's no longer seva, it's envy. We're not living at the time of Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. Right. And uh, although Srila Prabhupada may not be one's Diksha Guru, he is a Shiksha Guru for the whole movement. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, I find it to be a deviation that we don't do things that we did ordinarily when Prabhupada was on the planet. And that now we think that we don't need to do that because Prabhupada's not physically present, that we don't need to chant Srila Prabhupada's Pranam Mantra. Um, we, we do see by, <clears throat> simply by historical example that practically all the 
uh, spiritual masters who were, you know, who became spiritual masters after Srila Prabhupada, practically all of them fell down. And so it just seems to be obvious to me that we wouldn't want to not do something we did when Prabhupada was here, when Prabhupada is the spiritual master of everyone. And, and we know Prabhupada's stature as a stum, samstapakarya <coughs> guru. And, uh, you know, to give the example that, well, Srila Prabhupada didn't offer pranam mantras to his spiritual master, you know, at, at certain times. I don't think we can really compare ourselves to Srila Prabhupada in that respect, comparing Srila Prabhupada's position and, and our position. Savas Prabhu would like to say something. I, I agree with Manavata Prabhu. I, I, you know, using that Chakravarti example, I think it's okay in one circumstance, but you have to understand, we, knew, we didn't know anything about nothing before Srila Prabhupada came. So when Prabhupada introduced his song, he specifically introduced it for himself. I don't think he expected us to be thinking. Oh, yeah, I didn't say anything about the... the, the yeah, uh, but I'm just saying, so, you know, how, who, or what should be thinking about when we're chanting this prayer. It's to Srila Prabhupada. That's who that prayer is for. Srila Prabhupada is the Acharya. Yeah. So, give it to... Brigapati wants to say it. Give it to Brigapati, please. Well, my point... I'll finish, then you can say. My point is, is that he's, he is the Acharya. Of course. So even, and he's also the Shiksha of everyone. So even if one is not a direct initiate of Srila Prabhupada, he's still praying to Prabhupada as the Siksha Guru. Of course. Yes. So I didn't I, say that. I, so I, my, 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 my I don't understand how is. you can say that when, when our disciples here chanting that prayer, he's chanting it to his particular spiritual master. So should master. they not think of their spiritual master when they're, well, when they're offering these prayers? According to GBC, that's not true. They should, you're saying the GBC should not listen, think of their spiritual master when they're saying the Guru Vashtika? Well, my understanding was different. I'm not sure where you got your understanding from that. At. I mean, I don't know where you got that from. Well, I, di I didn't know. That I, is there a law like that? You're, you're meant to no, think? No, but, but... Is it's that like been, an Iskhan law? Or it, I mean, I, it has been said, because of what Bhattabhattha Prabhu mentioned, is there's been a lot of gurus that have fallen. So here you have uh, five or six or seven disciples that are initiated by a regular guru in Iskon, and they're chanting their spiritual master, then he's not there anymore. Then well, who is he chanted to? In other words, if, if there have been many regular gurus that have looped from Krishna consciousness. Okay. So who do they chant? Yeah, obviously. That? Okay, well, who do they chant that prayer to? Obviously, then after, after that they bloop, then you chant it to Prabhupada. Okay, so that's why the GBC wanted all of us to just to chant to Srila Prabhupada, because of that situation happening. Prabhupada's the Acharya. Mm -hmm. He started this ISKCON movement. So even if you're not initiated by him, you're still chanting that. Even the GBC said when, they pray, when a disciple pray, uh, offers their pranams, they should say to Prabhupada and their guru. Not just to their guru, but also to Srila Prabhupada. Why did they say that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so when they're chanting the prayers in the morning, it's to Srila Prabhupada, as far as I understand. Okay. I can research that a little bit more. Yeah, we can research. We should, we should do some investigation but, find and, out. And, so, and the point being is, yes, your guru could bloop. And if he's blooped, then what do you do? Yeah. You go to Prabhupada. <laughs> go to Srila Prabhupada. <laughs> of course. So, Brigapati Prabhu wants to say something? I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's okay. so, you mentioned um, Bhakti Siddhanta Maharaj, he introduced this in the Gaudiya Math. Yes. So, when his disciples, well, when the people in his organization, which were all his disciples, were singing it, obviously they were singing it to him. Right. And Prabhupada gave us the same song. So, when, and at that time, we were, they were only Prabhupada disciples, and we were yeah. all singing it to him. Mm -hmm. And um, so now, if the next generation of disciples, when all of us are gone, and, you know, the, the, the organization is, like, run by disciples of Srila Prabhupada, and their disciples are, there's no Prabhupada disciples anymore, and the room is full with disciples of disciples of Srila Prabhupada, some of whom hopefully will not have blooped and will still be with us. When they're chanting that prayer, they're supposed to be thinking of Prabhupada? Is it? Okay. 
at that time. Okay, I'm not. I'm just. I'm just asking questions. Okay. So basically, we have two Shiva Prabhupada Guru Pujas because you know, the Mangal Arti is a worship of the Samstapakacharya, you know, singing that song and then the and also, the, you know, when we chant Guru Vandana. Guru Vandana. So we have basically two Shiva Prabhupada Guru Pujas. One at Mangal Arti time and. My thing is, I, I don't want to. I hope I don't want to come off as somebody who's kind of. I don't know one way or the other, to be honest with you. I mean, and, and I don't feel stupid saying that because. And I'll tell you, whatever the GBC, whatever the, the you know the big shastric authorities and you know pundits decide, I'll, I'll, I just want to do the right thing. But I, I'm just trying to. Yeah, because I I know I'm not, I I can't ever remember like you know I listen to Prabhupada lectures day and night and I never heard Prabhupada kind of talk about this one way or the other, so I'm just kind of like, okay, whatever you guys say is the right thing to do, I'll do it. Well, as far as the pronouns of Prabhupada, that's, that's, uh, that goes without saying. I think I don't understand what the difficulty is. It's been going on for 50 years. So all of a sudden, we want to change it? In other words, suddenly we're going to say, okay, don't, don't do that. Don't do this. Don't say in the Mount Om. I mean, what, what, what for? No, I'm, what, I'm who, completely, is somebody getting I'm in Maya? <laughs> for chanting the Pranam Mantra. Well, Pranam, that's out of the ether also. You know, let's face it. Uh -huh. It's in the ether. Everybody knows it's out there. Everybody oh, knows yeah, yeah, it's yeah. going on. There's nobody in the yeah, yeah, yeah. here. Everybody knows that. So, but so my, my only th question would be, the disciple has a spiritual master. I mean, he could, I, I, yeah, we should investigate. Should he be thinking of Prabhupada or, or his spiritual master? Wait, will he be in Maya if he's singing it? He won't be in Maya, but he wants to establish a relationship. It's kind of like, it's, it, it's personalism. He has a, a guru, so he's thinking of a spiritual but, master. Sure, and there's other ways of doing that. He's saying his pranams per to every day to his guru. Every time he bows down, he can say his pranams to his guru ten times. Uh-huh. Yeah. At least he can go into his own home and have an altar and chant that prayer to his spiritual master. Uh -huh. This is a public forum here. This is the temple that Srila Prabhupada established. If you go into your own home, you have a picture, a deity of your guru. Hey, listen, invite all your other god brothers and sisters there and have a big bash. Chant for eight hours. Mm -hmm. That will be good, no problem. But mm -hmm. here when you're in the temple room, this is Srila Prabhupada's. Yeah, yes. Prana Mantra, yes. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so there was he, one devotee, so one senior devotee that yeah. didn't chant the, the Prana Mantra at Mangalarti. And I was like, I felt so bad that Prabhupada yeah. didn't, that he didn't chant it at Mangalarti. Yeah. So I went to him and said, Prabhu, you didn't chant the Prana Mantra. Yeah. And he said, well, there's so many gurus. And I said, well, but Prabhupada, he's the founder of Charya for our whole society for thousands of years. So he accepted that. And from, from then on, he started chanting the Mantra. And, and I recall also when we had the, uh, the uh, 11 gurus in ISKCON, at one particular point when that particular guru would come to a temple to visit, then we would have Mangal Artik and we would be chanting to that particular guru. And we would ignore Srila Prabhupada. That happened for years. Wow. For years that happened. And then we had so many of them fall down. Yeah. So, you know, we have to be very careful. Why do we need to change anything? Leave it as it is. And just be happy in Krishna consciousness. No, I didn't say change anything. I'm, th I'm just saying <laughs> no. about the subtle, the yeah. subtlety of, of who, who the disciple should think of when he's chanting those prayers. So we should investigate. Think of Prabhupada. Yeah. We, <laughs> just, I don't also think, Prabhupada, but why not the spiritual master? I mean, he's trying well, to... Okay, then, you know, I'm not going to... Both. What about both? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to tell anybody. I, I think that that question is actually pretty, you know, it's like a relative question to me. I mean, it's... it's it's neither here or there. I mean, if the guru, if the disciples wants to do that secretly in their heart or whatever, fine. I'm not okay. going to tell them don't. Okay. I'm not going to grab okay. somebody by their curtain and throw them out the door. So we got a good balance now. Because they're uh, <laughs> thinking of their spiritual master. Good. But I'm just saying publicly. Yeah. yeah. Publicly, exactly. this is of what's course. established. That's a law. That's yeah. an ISKCON law. Exactly. It's just Prabhupada, publicly, yeah. of course. And this is what it should be. Yes. Okay, so we got a proper balance After all of us Prabhupada <laughs> disciples are dead and buried, God bless you. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to continue as it's going on now. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai.